Hi, uh, welcome to the next installment of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. I can't remember what episode number I'm up to, um, but I'll put it in the title when I work it out. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create a branch um, because my bird will be sitting on a branch. So I need to do a branch across the page. Just excuse me, cutting off some trims. Um, so I want it to be quite textural and interesting to look at. I've got um, this thread here, which is like some old silk that's been sort of ripped up and um, twisted. So I guess if you untwist it, you can see it was a piece of tan silk. So I thought I'd use that because that's going to give nice texture for a branch um, to take across the page. And then I just want to add in a few other fibres. Um, my problem is I really don't have, just looking for bits and pieces, I don't really have a lot of browns. I do need to get some brown wools. Heaven forbid I need more wool. Um, so I'm going to twist a little bit of this green and then I'm going to couch stitch my branch in place. And I'm thinking of just stitching it with this. It's like a... Um, Perle cotton, a brown perle cotton, and I'm going to couch it in place. So we'll get a piece of this cut. Okay, and I'm happy with that shape. I want it to be a bit of a rough um, branch shape. That will go across. And I need to leave some space because my bird's going to sit on my branch. I think I'll do an extra limb up there of the tree because I'm going to do some flowers in the neon pink and this is an Appleton, Appleton wool that comes in neon pink so you're going to get some pink berries, flowers, that kind of thing and then I'll have my bird sitting down here with its little tail um, so I probably won't work on the bird this week because I do have a vintage pattern of the type of bird I want to put in which is going to be a budgerigar, a budgie, Aussie budgie um, and I just can't find where I've put my transfer, so I need to find that. Um, I also have these um, threads from Laurie, um, who I've tagged before, and I thought I might use some bits and pieces, maybe this brown one here, which is a hemp, um, to just twist it around my branch, because I do, I do want some, um, I want some texture. So I'm just experimenting here, haven't done exactly this type of thing before. I've got some darning cotton in a brown there and I do have another darning cotton again from Laurie, same person. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of this one as well because it's darker. So I'm just randomly cutting some lengths of these bits and pieces. I think I'll use some of this hemp hemp cord. So cutting a piece of the hemp. And then I thought, even though this is green, it's kind of a dark olivey green. This is just a thin um, DMC wool. Showing you the label. DMC. And I am going to get a few strands of this to wrap as well. I want it to be kind of like a branch where there's like vines wrapping around it and things like that, like it's in the rainforest. Because um, I, I kind of think maybe rainforests are where budgies, budgies might live in Australia, up in, the, up in Queensland. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Who knows, I could be making stuff up. All right, so I'm just going to gather up my different threads. I'm not going to do them all at once and my branch is already twisted so I just want to give it a little bit more texture total experiment here and I might do these ones together Just wrapping them a bit. Okay. They're going to come untwisted, but what I'll do is I'll just twist it up a bit more as I'm stitching. 
So see how that, I like that now that it's it's got a bit more texture. And I'll need to do the same for the limb that I'm going to do up there, the tree, tree limb or the tree branch. So pulling out my pearl A cotton. Um, I'm going to use, I think this is a milliner's needle. Yep, looks like it is one. If I can thread this, let's see. Might be a bit small, the eye. Oh, I think I've got it. All right, um, I might just kind of pin this in place to keep its shape. I'm just going to go over it. Just to sort of hold it there so I can get, once I've got it started, I'll be fine because it will be secure. Um, little bits hanging off the edges are fine as well. I can trim them off later if I don't want them there or I can leave little bits hanging off the end which I think looks quite nice sometimes oh gosh I just pulled it just pull it back a bit give it a little twist am I on screen okay once I get a few stitches in it'll be nicely in place um, so I'm not sure if I've said this before. Someone did ask why we use these grey mats. I might have gone through this, but just in case I haven't. Um, I like them for several reasons. Um, then a nice feel to work on, nice soft surface rather than a hard surface. Um, but the thing I like the most about them, and yes, my sister Rach, she got me onto this because she was using one. It's good for the background, just having a plain grey background and... I try to keep my mat reasonably clear because the rest of my desk is loaded up with craft supplies. Um, so good for filming on. But the other thing I like about um, this mat is that I can just stick my needle in. So if I'm going to stop stitching for a little while, sometimes I just stick my needle in and leave it. And also, as I'm couching, I could have just stuck my needle down into my mat and it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. As I'm, you know, I might want to stick it in, hold it in place while I twist the threads a little bit more. So that's why I like it. I know that they're used for quilting. And another bonus about these mats is that you can iron straight onto them. So I do have a little craft iron that if I needed to iron something, I could get out my craft iron and iron straight onto this surface. And it's not going to damage the table underneath because the thick wool will protect it. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few people using them. I just find it, I find it to be a good surface. So that's that's why I'm using it, just in case I forgot to answer that question before, because I am pretty bad at uh, responding. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, I like the chunkiness um, of this branch. It's quite thick. So I can take that out now because I've kind of got it locked into place with my first few couching stitches so there's lots of good inspiration out there for birds um, I've certainly got several pictures on Pinterest that I've pinned um, to give me some ideas and there is a couple of budgerigars that have been embroidered um, I'm not going to do the full embroidery like I showed you last week. I'm going to kind of use the Mandy Patullo technique with scraps of fabric. Um, I'm not sure yet. It will just depend on my composition once I've got the branches in place if I'm going to do one or two budgies. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have space for two, depending on how big I make it. So um, one of the inspirations I'm taking for my budgies is um, some Kath Kitson fabric where she did budgies on it and I love them. They're not necessarily traditional colours, um, but they, um, 
they look really good. So I'm taking my inspiration from her fabric. I don't have a piece of the fabric, but I've, I've seen pictures of it on Pinterest. And that's where I'm going to take my inspiration for my bird. So tonight my video is, and it's, it is tonight, it's Wednesday. I, I need to post my video tonight, but um, you can see I'm in sporty attire. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm actually going to play a hockey game tonight. We don't normally play during the week. We play on Sundays, but it's a bit of a makeup game because um, we've, we've had a few Sundays off lately. So it's actually raining right now. I think we're going to have a wet game. Um, but I'm looking forward to playing because we haven't played for a couple of weeks. So it would be good to get back out on the turf. And for all you Americans and Canadians, that's field hockey. Again, I think I've mentioned it before, not ice hockey. I know where my Canadian sister at. Canadian sister in sister in law always talks about hockey. She's always referring to ice hockey, but she's got to remember we're Australian. Ice hockey's really not a thing here. I'm sure you could play it somewhere, but um, I've never seen ice hockey here. Um, but field hockey for girls is definitely quite a quite a popular sport. Even Rach used to play it once upon a time. Rach, I remember you playing. Um, on the wing and pretty much scared of the ball and she used to jump over it instead of uh, getting it. <laughs> um, we're definitely uh, good at different different sports. Rach was more of a um, swimmer, which she might have told you before. She's actually, Rach, giving you a compliment here, a very good swimmer. Swam, swam for our state, New South Wales, when she was younger, um, but didn't really pursue that too much through school, kind of kind of um, did other things and um, she's also good at uh, windsurfing and sailing she was okay at sailing I wasn't so good she'll probably tell you that I used to cry I was little I didn't like sailing we do we do come from a family of sailors but we just didn't get into it that much um, and then my sports I'm more of a ball sport person so I um, played I've played hockey since I was in year seven, which is a very long time ago. Uh, um, I played softball, captain of softball at school. Um, and then well, as soon as I got out of school, I got into women's rugby, like proper women's tackle rugby. You might have seen that. You might be familiar with it. And I played that for 13 years until I got pregnant and I couldn't play anymore. Um, and I played at a, a pretty decent level, played, played state for quite a long time. Um, so Rach and I have both done something for our state. Um, and um, I still play hockey now, but rugby I, I didn't get back into. You kind of, as you know, once you've had a baby and you get a bit older, body's not quite up for a sport like that. It's too hard. But I actually... I work with um, a girl who's, um, she was the Australian captain. She's not at the moment, but I think she should be because she's very good. And But she is our state captain, New South Wales captain, and she plays rugby too. So it's good to see, good to see some women, women playing rugby. It's um, really grown in popularity and it gets really good coverage nowadays on TV, whereas when I was playing... Um, it, it didn't happen that much. Occasionally we got on TV, but it wasn't that much. Not compared to now. Nowadays you can pretty much watch almost all women's, pretty much all women's sport at a, at a semi-professional or professional level on TV, or at least you can stream it on something, which I love. Many sports, um, I actually prefer watching the girls to the boys, like hockey. I much prefer watching. Our Aussie guys are great, but I do love watching the girls more. It's, it's a bit of a different style. Anyway, as I'm chatting away, I'm just working out. I want to do a branch that kind of goes up because it will give me some scope to add some more flowers. Um, and then I think I will only fit that one budgie and the budgie's going to go here. All right, so, oh, I forgot I hadn't ended it off. as I'm yapping on.
See, this is why I don't like crafting and talking because I don't concentrate when I'm doing both. Okay, so I need to try and attach this so it looks like it is just a branch on the tree. Might even just do a couple of stitches pretty close. Make sure it's in place. And then I'm going to couch this up. But I will probably trim that because it is quite long. So couching again, I've got my little bundles of thread here and I am just doing a stitch about, about every five mils, half a centimetre um, along just to hold them in place. And then I want it coming up a bit. I quite like couching. It's fun. Um, it's quick. It's pretty quick. Um, depending on how closely you put your stitches together, mine are far enough apart that it's super quick. Um, and I think it looks... I think it looks really good as well. I just I pulled that a bit crooked. Straight, that's better. And you can you can get all this nice texture underneath. That looks like a tree branch. I kind of feel like with my, my dark background it is almost like a nighttime. Someone suggested that looks like a moon. I think you're right, it does. Maybe I should have done an owl. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm doing my bright budgie. An owl might have suited the scene better, like it was awake at night. All right. Wondering if I want another branch down there, that could look good too. Just gonna trim these off. Got enough thread that I could add another one. What I might do is not add the extra branch. I can always come back and add it later if I want to fit it in. Um, the only thing is, because I'm not sure what angle I want my tail to go on, my budgie might be there with the tail down this way. So I might just leave that for the moment. Give me one sec. I'm just going to see if I can find my photo of um, the cat kits and fabric. Yeah. So that's that's the picture of it from Pinterest that I found. So I really like those budgies. It would actually be cool if I could fit two. They'd be very squished if I did. I definitely want to do a, um, a yellow and a green one and then maybe the blue one. Um, let's see. That's another one on Pinterest that I've got. That's cute as well, but the Kath Kitson one. There's some more Kath Kitson. Kitson, 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 Kath Kitson. 
Oh, and look at that one. That's a picture. That's really cute. I like the uh, flowers on top of the budgie's head. So they're going to be my inspiration pictures for my budgie. Um, oh, and this is the embroidered one. That's fully embroidered. I thought that was beautiful as well. So, um, so yeah, I think I think I will do. I'm going to do my my budgie here. Okay. Um, I'm going to come back in a few minutes. I might even get my fabrics and start cutting them out and pinning them down so you can see where the budgie's going to go. I'll be back soon. Okay, so I'm back. So what I've done is I've pulled out some fabrics and I have um, sketched out a bird design. I think the body's a little bit long, so I'm just going to cut it down. I think that's better. Looked a bit weird. Looked a bit elongated. So what I've done is I just got a scrap that's a linen with um, a pale green check, but I've just gone on the reverse um, to sketch out the body. And I'm, I'm not going to fit two in properly because I do want to have flowers and things like that. So I'm just going to go for my one bird. Um, and I thought if I put it onto this fabric, then what I'll do is I'll build up, build up some colors bits and pieces to build up the bird so these are just some scrap fabrics I really like this one so I thought this could be the main body of my bird um, I haven't read Mandy Patolo's instructions that probably would have been a good idea um, so the wings are going to go over the top What I might just do is cut the basic shape because then the wings will go over the top. I want it to have a few layers so it has some good dimension. So let's have a look at this. go on top once I've cut out all my fabrics and then what I will do is I'll be stitching them all down into place but I'll just pin them and then I'll stitch them and then the tail piece um, I'm probably will add some other colors over the top of this as well So this will be my base. Okay. And then I might do some little wings in a darker, darker color. This has got some nice bits of darker blue on them. bit awkward I'm just randomly cutting some different shapes one wing and then I'll do my other I saw a little random scraps out of my scrap box
that's a mini wing. Well, that looks a bit weird. I might have to do that one again. Yes, I made that too little. Try again. More scrap. I might have to adjust. Yeah, that one's too big. Cut it down even further. too big. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Now I think I need some yellow for the head. Not sure if that's quite the right colour. That, no, I don't like that one. I'll find something else. Yeah, I think that could be good. Let me just cut out a scrap. Just doing a little scalloped edge because budgies have a bit of a scallop kind of look with their feathers. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, this is too plain down here. Um, I'm just wondering if I add some more little bits of fabric or if I just I jazz it up with... Um, with some embroidery I could do either because I've got to do like the little things you know like that there that's normally um, well yellow on my bird but on the blue and white ones that's the white part um, I'll do obviously some embroidery for feathers um, just down here I'm not sure I might want another fabric um, Never mind this one. It's a very thin fabric, this one. Like even just a, um, well, that's the selvage. Just to add a little bit to the tail, I'm thinking. It's a very thin fabric. I just want to have a little piece that I might add in.
we'll see. Might need a bit of that on the um, bird body as well. Total rough um, snippets, scrap fabrics, playing around with them and just seeing potentially how they could look. And hopefully it will not look so weird once I've got some stitching and it comes together. I'm literally just adding a bit of different fabric just to give it a bit of texture. But we'll see, we'll see how um, I go once I stitch it, what it looks like. Could be a total disaster. You never know. Um, big, little bit I need. Um, see here, I'm just, so I'm just looking through my scrap box, it's next to me. I think maybe a snippet of pink. Or above the beak. I only need a little bit for that. And something brighter. Um, let me see what I like. A little snippet of red will be the beak and then this is for above the beak so it's a terrible shape I think I need to use my smaller scissors big and a little scraps Okay, so that's the start of my budgie. Okay, that might have to do for this week. I'm sorry I haven't done any stitching on my budgie. Um, I will just pin everything in place because it is 10 to 7 and I need to go to hockey in about 10 minutes. Just going to pin it in place. If I get back early enough, I might come and do some stitching on this later on, um, just to basically stitch my bird in place and to start sort of giving it some embroidery. All right, so that's what my bird's going to look like, nice and bright, and then I will be bringing in some flowers with my lovely Love this wool too with these nice bright wools. I tend to do some berries, flowers, that kind of thing. All right, so I might, may or may not see you back after hockey. Okay, thanks for watching this part and I'll see you again soon. Bye. So for this week, I'm just going to leave it as is um, because I got home a bit late from hockey. So this will be this week's and next week you will see me do some of the stitching and possibly some of the flowers. 
So I hope you like seeing the process and I'll see you again next week. Bye.